everybody, it's me, Millie, and I am excited to show you guys the results of my soap fall winter through 2012 fragrance testing. I just popped them out of the molds. I actually put my molds in the freezer for about an hour, so if you see anything shiny on them, that's just a little bit of condensation. So, off camera, I got to thinking about it after I had done my first three videos, and off camera, I went ahead and took the last bit of my base soap and I made a control. So we can kind of see the differences between the control and the rest of them. So here's soap number one. Now I did not add any dye to this. This color, which is kind of a dark mustard looking yellow, uh, this color was created just by the fragrance. So it's fragrance number one. And then fragrance number two there's it, and it's actually maybe a shade or two darker than fragrance number one. Here's fragrance number three. We didn't really have any color changes there. That was good. Here's fragrance number four, which was one of my favorites. It went a little, a little grayish brown on us. And here's fragrance number five, the one that started to accelerate as I was pouring it in the mold. So there's my first five. Now let's do the ones in the back, our last five. So here's fragrance number six. Didn't have any color changes there. That's wonderful. Fragrance number seven, which was another one of my favorites. This is my apple smell. Fragrance number eight. Whoop. Dropping stuff here. Fragrance number eight. It is just a hint creamier than the control soap. Here's fragrance number nine. Just again, it's just a very, very hint of a cream color to it. And then fragrance number ten it went a little bit gray as well. Now this fragrance number 10, I actually was really quite worried about it because before I poured it, it smelled great. And then after it was in the soap, it started to smell really, really bad. But it's actually changed still since it's been poured. And my husband says he thinks it smells like eggnog. So those are my 10 fragrances. So I'm, I was really excited to do the project, and again, I want to thank Brambleberry.com for giving me the opportunity to do it. There we go. There's all ten of them. And I have had loads and loads and loads of fun, and I'm excited to see which ones will win this fall and winter and which ones are going to be put up for sale. So make sure you head over to SoapQueen.com here in a few weeks to see which ones are the winners. And thank you guys very much.